feel high in that poverty for ordinary people. Nine years ago, one such unfortunate girl found herself alone and unable to care for her baby. Get the workout, but sadly died without going missing. We were only in the position with the girl and brooch, quickly taken away by the workout boss. The baby was given name of Oliver Twist by the person in charge of the workout. Why, Mr. Bumble?
What you staring at? Ain't you ever seen it all? No, sorry, I haven't. Ah, that's all right. Hungry, are you? Oh, yes, I am, actually. I've been walking for seven days. Run away, are you? Who are you running from then? Your old man? No, I've come to London to see my fortune. Oh, you have? Have ya? Got any money? Lodging? I have got a farthing. Do you live in London? Yes. I suppose you want some place to sleep tonight, eh? Do you know of anywhere? As it so happens, I know respectful old gentlemen who will give you lodging for nothing. Really? He must be a kind old gentleman. Oh, yeah. He's very kind. And I'm particular favourite is. Well, if you come along with her, I better hear yeah. My name's Oliver. Oliver Twist. And mine's Jack. Better known to my old intimate friend is the Artful Dodger. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dodger. Are you sure the old gentleman won't mind? Mind? Consider yourself at home. Consider yourself one of the family. We take to you so strong. It's clear we're going to get a lot. Consider yourself well in. Consider yourself find an archer. Very polite to spare. Who cares what every culture <coughs> chance to be? We just see smart days, empty hard days, white ground. All the chance to meet somebody in Butterville. Then the dreams are on the
ends of London's back streets. They arrived at the Tumbling Ruin, which was a home to many children, and an elderly crook known as Fagin. So you have come to London to see your watch, have you? But we must see what we can do to help, mustn't we? Oh, thank you, sir. Hey, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte! <laughs> ah, yeah. So I had that the pocket hat of cheese in my pocket, yeah? Each hand up, anyone on the watch. Oh! <laughs> 
Let's have a drink at Lana next door. Hey, Fagin, this sausage is on all day. Shut up and drink your gin!
kitchen. Toddy's large measures most giving it you please. I rough it, I love it, life is a game of chance. I never tire of it, leading the merry dance. If you don't mind having to go without things, it's a fine life. It's a fine life. Though it ain't taught your little pleasure out of things, it's a fine life. It's a fine life. When you've got someone to love, you forget your cares and strife. Let the blues look down, let the wild run from us. It's a fine life.
you rob a shop? Anything. What would you risk with a truck? Anything. Does that ice go pop? Anything. What would you calm down? Look.
Dodger and Charlie had their eyes peeled, looking for the perfect moment to strike. Oliver, however, didn't know what they were about to do. beginning to worry. Was it Oliver that they were worried about? Where did the concerns truly lie? We've got to get him back, dear. We've got to think of something. It's got to be done carefully by somebody the boy trusts. Don't look at me. I won't do it, Fagin. Why can't you just leave the boy alone? He is that being the god chance of his decent life. We have to get him back, Nancy. Just think of all the trouble causing it all. Think about what happened to your bill. You want to want that, would you, Nancy? But Fagin... Oh! It's okay. She will go, Fagin. No, she won't go, Fagin. Yes, she will!